A Rose for Emily is an interesting short story by William Faulkner that has left a lasting impression on readers globally. It is a horrifying tale set in the fictional town Jefferson, Mississippi, and tracks the life of Emily Grierson, a reclusive woman born into a prominent family, though unable to let go of her evil past. Faulkner's storytelling capabilities and his masterful prose writing have garnered him multiple accolades, with the most prestigious one being the 1949 Nobel Prize in Light Rat. Overview of A Rose for Emily The plot of A Rose for Emily focuses on the life of Emily. Emily is a reclusive woman from a southern town and from a once prominent family. The plot is narrated in a non-linear fashion, whereby Faulkner keeps shifting between the present and the past. Some crucial events that Faulkner mentions include how Emily's father used to control Emily excessively, Emily's momentarily affair with the northern businessman, Emily's descent into isolation and madness. However, it is until the end of the book the full magnitude of the disturbing and tragic reality of Emily is brought to light. Some key themes in the story include tradition and progress, patriarchy, pleasure in misfortune, love and death. A Rose for Emily characters, only a few major characters in A Rose for Emily exist. Apart from the protagonist, most of the characters are mentioned sparingly. Therefore, this section will look into some of the characters that have considerably impacted the plot. These characters include, 1. Emily Grierson. Emily Grierson is the protagonist in this book. She is reclusive, mysterious, and complex. Her life can be summed up as significantly miserable. Due to her way of life, she becomes the subject of speculation and gossip in her small southern town, Jefferson. Some profound events that lead to Emily's descent into isolation and madness are her father's controlling nature and her tragic romantic relationship with the northern businessman. Emily's trait, such as controlling, stubbornness and delusional, precipitates her downfall as she irrationally holds on to the past too. Homer Barron, another central key character in a rose for Emily is Homer Barron. Homer is a northern labor sent to Jefferson, specifically where Emily resides, to work on the construction of the sidewalks. Another striking features of Homer are that he is loud and large. A romantic relationship starts to brew between Homer and Emily, though Homer refuses to marry her and vows to leave her. The community believes it is because of Homer's questionable secular orientation that makes him decline the marriage proposal. Emily thus murders Homer by poisoning him. Do you know you can get affordable homework help from us for any assignment? For instance, we can instantly write for you the summary of A Rose for Emily. 3. Mr. Grierson, one minor character in A Rose for Emily is Mr. Grierson. He is Emily's father and a former mayor of the town. He is a strict patriarchal figure who denies Emily from leaving the house or having a suitor. His motivation stems from the desire to maintain his family's social standing and reputation. The controlling nature of Mr. Grierson greatly contributes to Emily's isolation and mental decline. Emily's mental distress worsens after Mr. Grierson dies because he was the only person who ever had control of her life, even though it was damaging for Judge Stevens. Judge Stevens is a minor character in Faulkner's story. He is an influential and respected person in the Jefferson community. His obvious features include his head's white hair and patriarchal nature, he is keen on upholding past traditions. Stevens and other town leaders take it upon themselves to address the foul smell emancipating from Emily's house, where they sprinkle lime in the house's perimeter. Setting in A Rose for Emily, the story of A Rose for Emily is set in Jefferson, a small town in the southern United States. At first, the town is depicted as old-fashioned and conservative, the once grand houses are decaying and falling in disrepair, Emily's house is a perfect example of a decaying building. Once upon a time, it was an elegant mansion, now it is bordered by overgrown shrubs and weeds, the interior is dusty and stuffy, and the furniture and relics belong to a long-gone era, the community of the town is closely knit and highly skeptical of outsiders. The southern climate is oppressively hot with high humidity, which contributes to a sense of stagnation and suffocation. The setting, however, changes when the plot develops. Emily's emotional and mental decline gets more focused while the town starts to be modernized. The town starts to have paved streets and new buildings are erected. Plot summary of A Rose for Emily. A Rose for Emily details a story of a reclusive woman, Emily Grierson, and the strange events in her life. 
The story begins with Emily's death, then shifts to the past, which provides some history about Emily. Emily is raised in a respected and wealthy family, though the family falls from its socioeconomic status as time elapses. Emily's father is controlling, refusing Emily to get married. In the end, this makes Emily lonely and isolated. After her father's death, Emily permanently cements her reclusive behavior, as she rarely goes out of the house or interacts with anyone throughout her life. The major twist happens when Emily forms a relationship with Homer Baron, the Northern Labor. The townspeople are against this relationship, though after a while, rumors start to spread about the marriage of Emily and Homer. Out of nowhere, Homer disappears, and Emily is not seen for a lengthy period. The plot's climax occurs when Homer's corpse is found after Emily's death. Here, the community comes to understand the shocking truth about Homer's disappearance. The truth is that Emily had killed Homer and kept his body in her house for all those years. The plot concludes with Emily's funeral and the townspeople's reflection on Emily's tragic life. A Rose for Emily themes, below are some of the most prominent themes in A Rose for Emily, tradition versus progress, the story shows the struggle between the old traditional values and the changing modern society. Also, tradition versus progress is evident in Emily and Mr. Emily's behavior of not adapting to the changing times, thus meeting their downfall, patriarchy, the following strict gender roles and power dynamics are prevalent in Jefferson Emily's father controls Emily in all aspects of her life, such as when looking for a suitor. After the death of Emily's father, the men in society try to exert their control over Emily, pleasure in misfortune. The phrase pleasure in misfortune means the act of people finding pleasure in the suffering of others. Even in tragic circumstances. This theme is widespread in a rose for Emily in various aspects. For example, the townspeople enjoy the deterioration of Emily's social status and isolated, time and narrative. Faulkner plays with several periods, as seen in how he repeatedly switches between the present and past. He uses a nonlinear narrative structure to create a story. This strategy allows the author to shape the reader's understanding of the events and people. For instance, it obscures and distorts the truth. A good example of this distortion can be seen in the disappearance of Homer. The readers do not straightforwardly sense that Homer has been in Emily's house the whole time. Isolation Emily is isolated from the community by locking herself in the house and from the marriage life. In the start, her father contributed to her isolation, and then it was due to her behavior of not changing from her old self. Love, an irrational and destructive nature of love happens and arose for Emily, resulting in a massive plot development. Emily develops this kind of love towards Homer. When Homer refuses to marry her, she kills him by poisoning him. Death, this book reinforces the idea that death is inevitable and affects individuals and society. The death of Emily's father worsens Emily's mental state, while Homer's death helps the community assess the true extent of Emily's madness. A Rose for Emily Symbols, some of the symbols in A Rose for Emily are, A Rose, the title of the book is A Rose for Emily. What many readers find hard to understand is what does the rose mean? The title, or the word rose, is more of an irony. A rose is a symbol of love and beauty, while the story is filled with dark and tragic aspects of Emily's life, a strand of hair, two meanings can be drawn from the strand of hair found on a pillow next to Homer's corpse. The first meaning is the deep desire of Emily to keep Homer close forever. The other meaning is that the hair shows desperation of Emily in holding on to things and her inability to let go of the past, a picture of Emily's father, Mr. Grierson's picture symbolizes many aspects. Foremost, the attachment of Emily to the past, her resistance to letting go of her father's control, and her inability to change. The portrait also presents the source of Emily's psychological struggles and the oppressive patriarchy of her father that continues to haunt her even after her father's demise. Emily's house, the house shows the state of Emily's life, specifically the deterioration of her mental state. Emily's house decays by the day while the town gets a new, modernized look. The same goes for Emily's mental state. If you have been given the assignment to compare and contrast something, such as Emily's life and Emily's house, just know you can turn to us for compare and contrast essay writing service.